It's always so good to be here. Last weekend I was down in Florida, and I like working down there because until we get our lottery going here, that's the nearest place I can get tickets. <laughs> and last Saturday night it was $8 million, and I had 50 tickets. I didn't win nothing. But I've got 50 tickets again tonight at 11 o'clock. They got that drawing down there, and I got a gut feeling I just might win that money. And here's how you'll know if I do. You'll never see my fat butt again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to be like the people you see on television. No matter how many millions they win, they always go, no, I'm not going to quit my job. <laughs> you know, I was in Florida one time when a man down there won $18 million, $18 million. And here's a question they asked this man on the 5 o'clock news. What hopes, what dreams, what plans have you and yours had all your lives that you can now follow through with? And bless his heart, he said, well, I'm going to either. Now, there's a key word right there. Either. Like with 18 million, he can't do both these things. I'm going to either pay off my Ford Bronco or put a new roof on the house. Stupid idiot. I'm going to let him repossess the truck and burn the house. I guess he didn't want to mess up his credit. You know? And how about the lady out in Las Vegas about two or three months ago? Did you see this on the news? She was in her 70s and she won 9.4 million on a slot machine. A new Guinness Book of World Record on a slot machine payoff. Nine million. Did you see the woman on the news when they asked her what was she going to do with the money? And she said that she was going to get her transmission fixed. <laughs> Somebody ought to slap that woman. <laughs> Take that money back and give it to me. Because if I ever win like 18 million, 9 million, or just one, just one damn million. <laughs> if they want me to say something, I'm going to tell them this. The following people can kiss my rich fat eyes. <laughs> Number one, my ex-wife. <laughs>